Hi, it's Bree Williams, the behavior changer with a book bite. And today we are talking about Zoe Chance's book, Influence is Your Superpower. How to get what you want without compromising who you are. Here are my three top takeaways. The first is how to frame your message. Zoe suggests three frames. Monumental, so the scale of something. This is for the planet. The second frame is manageable. Almost the reverse of monumental, you want people to feel that whatever change you're asking of them is something that is within the realms of possibility. And the third frame she suggests is mysterious, drawing people in and being curious. My second top takeaway from Zoe's book is how we inadvertently draw attention back to ourselves when our attention should be focused on the personal people we are trying to influence. And how do we do this? We use I pronouns too much, talking about our needs, our perspective, I see this, I wonder that. But we also might fall into the trap of using diminishing language. I was just wondering. It's just a thought. This diminishing language draws attention back onto us rather than those we are seeking to influence. And my third top takeaway from Zoe Chance's book, her magic question, what would it take? In Zoe's experience, just asking this magic question, what would it take, opens up creativity, conveys respect to those you're dealing with, as well as draws out important information from them, and most importantly, signals collaboration. So there it is, my top three takeaways from Zoe Chance's book, Influence is Your Superpower. Highly recommend as an introduction to influence and behavioral science. And you'll enjoy it because Zoe has a very warm and humorous way of conveying information.